The African Union-led Grey Green Wall project has evolved from just planting a wall of trees stretching across the entire Sahel to promoting water harvesting techniques, greenery protection, and improving indigenous land use techniques aimed at creating a mosaic of green and productive landscapes across Africa. Seated here are stakeholders and representatives from more than 20 countries across the continent. And according to the Commissioner for Agriculture, Rural Development, Blue Economy and Sustainable Environment of the African Union, member countries must go beyond speeches and reports to actual action. This is the time for action, not talks, not conference. We need to go to the field. We need to work with our communities so that we can showcase during COP27. According to data from the Great Green Wall Project, as of March of 2019, 15% of the wall was complete, with significant gains made in Nigeria, Senegal, and Ethiopia. Nigeria has restored 4.9 million hectares of degraded land. Proper funding will be crucial in ensuring these efforts are improved upon, according to Nigeria's Minister of Environment. Climate resilient infrastructure and access to renewable energy, enabling economic and institutional framework for effective governance, and finally, capacity building. For Nigeria's vice president, combating climate change and desertification must go hand in hand with addressing food insecurity and poverty in Africa. Africa is confronted with twin challenges, the ravages of climate change, but perhaps more importantly, the existential problem of extreme poverty. Both, not one, must be addressed. This is why Nigeria's plans to attain net zero by 2060 and our energy transition plan also focus on how to creatively transit to net zero emissions and at the same time increase access to power and high agricultural and industrial output. $19.1 million has been pledged by member countries for the Great Green Wall project. And in Nigeria, the actualization of the country's target falls under the purview of the Ministry of Environment, the Ministry of Agriculture and the Ministry of Water Resources with the Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshimbajo, planting a tree on behalf of the President at the Banquet Hall of the State House in Abuja, the tree planting campaign has been launched by the Nigerian government. From the State House in Abuja, Kayla Megwa, Channels Television News.